Papa Droid for WiredLeaks.com and today I'm gonna do the camera review of the Nubia Z17 Lite. Um, a phone that I have for two weeks now so I reviewed the hell out of it <laughs> and uh, the funny thing about uh, this device is it has uh, the light put on to the name and to be honest I can't see what's light about it. We are talking about 6 GB of RAM. We're talking about 64, uh, 46 GB of ROM uh, combined with a very powerful uh, dual uh, camera setup to 13 megapixel cameras in a real dual camera setup. Uh, I think this is one of the greatest camera phones I have used last year and uh, it's basically on par with bands like Meizu and Xiaomi. I dare to say it's even better than Xiaomi and the design of the device itself is beautiful. It's powered by a Snapdragon uh, 653 processor, let me say this right, and uh, that means it's quite snappy in daily use and the greatest thing about this device is edge device, it's, it's bezel-less and which means they actually managed to simply leave out the right and left side bezel and that's absolutely amazing. So uh, without further ado let's go uh, jump right into the camera review. Uh, this is done with the front camera, it's an 8 megapixel front camera um, which does its job quite well. Um, let's go to the 13 megapixel dual camera on the back and see what those babies can do. So bear with me and uh, let's jump to the rear camera. And like I said, this is the rear camera uh, consisting of two 13 megapixel um, sensors and uh, it's a real dual camera. I will show you some stills later on in the review that actually show you that it's a uh, great in bokeh effect, has a great black and white uh, sensor. And uh, just let me show you how great the autofocus works on this one. Let's go to this and there we go. And now let's go back to the statue again and there we go. As you can tell, the dynamic range of this device is very good. We have a day that's very bright, so there's a lot of shadows going on, a lot of light and dark playing along, and still the camera performs absolutely great. Let me do another close-up for you, just to show you how fast the autophotos adapt. See, it's perfectly able to even catch the plants that are below the surface of the water. And we're back where we started. So yeah, absolutely great cameras there. And back to the front camera. So that was a quick camera review of the video. Um, just join uh, me uh, later. I will uh, show you some uh, pictures uh, taken by all the different possibilities this phone has. Um, like, uh, for instance, uh, black and white. Uh, but also cloning camera and all these special gadgets. I'm going to show you the dual camera and the fantastic bokeh effect it has. 
And uh, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want. Just let me know that you looked at our videos. And um, I think I'm going to see you in the next one. Uh, the summer is coming up, so be prepared to have some rugged news, some Blackview phones, some great phone coming up from iOutdoor, the iOutdoor X, which is going to be a beast of a rugged phone. And of course, I'm going to do the review of the uh, number one F7 rugged smartwatch. So that should be interesting as well. Keep up with us. Again, just subscribe and we will just send you a message whenever a new video is out. This is Papa Droid for Wyatt Leaks. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time. California coastline, midday Texas sun, misty rain, smoky mountain, out here on the run. Lights up New York City, streets of Boston town, Golden Gate in San Francisco. Seattle's Puget Sound Been a long time traveling Rolling on from town to town Seen so many places Still don't know where I found Arizona desert Colorado mountains Arches out in Utah Montana not a hole Grand Tetons in Wyoming Oregon's Everglades Rolling hills of the Carolinas Kentucky and Tennessee Been a long time traveling, rolling on from town to town. Seen so many places, still don't know where I'm found. No matter how far I travel, I'll always find my way back home. I know I'm not alone